Thanks for joining. In this video, we will continue to look at common questions to pass any algebra or math test. Please watch all the videos in this series to aid you pass any math test with ease. You can check out ultimatealgebra.com or ultimateged.com for more. Let's dive right in. Question 11. What is the value of the expression 3x squared plus 3x plus 2y when x equals 4 and y equals 5? In this expression, the value of x is 4. Hence, all the x in the expression are to be replaced with 4. Also, the value of y is given as 5. Hence, anywhere that there is y, we have to replace it with 5. Therefore, we can have 3 times 4 squared, plus 3 times 4, plus 2 times 5. By order of operation, we have to perform the exponent first. 4 squared, which is 4 times 4 is 16. Now we have 3 times 16, plus 3 times 4, plus 2 times 5. 3 multiplied by 16 is 48, 3 by 4 is 12, and 2 by 5 is 10. We add 48 plus 12 plus 10. This will give us 70 as the value of the expression. Question 12. Solve for x when 2 of x plus 5 is equal to 12 minus x. This is an equation, and we need to find the value of x that satisfies the equation. By order of operation, 2 of x plus 5 needs to be expanded. And to do that, 2 has to multiply each term in the parenthesis. So we have 2 multiplied by x to be 2x, and 2 multiplied by 5 to be 10. This equals 12 minus x. Now to find x, we can subtract 10 from the constant of both sides. At the left side of the equation, negative 10 will cancel 10 leaving 2x. And at the right side of the equation 2, 12 minus 10 is 2, minus x. To find x by itself, we add x to both sides of the equation. At the left side 2x plus x is 3x, and at the left side, positive x will cancel negative x remaining 2. Now we can divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3. 3 will cancel 3 leaving x equals 2 out of 3. Question 13. Consider the following set of data representing the number of hours per week that 10 different people spend exercising. 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, and 20. What is the median of this data set? What is the range of this data set? First, we will look at finding the median of a set of data. To find the median of a given set of data, the data has to be arranged from lowest to highest. The median is the middle number when the numbers are arranged. For an odd number, you'll get a single number in the middle, so that will be your median. In the case of an even number, like our question, there will be two middle numbers. The median is the sum of the two middle numbers divided by two. The set of data given in our question are 10 in number and the middle numbers are 9 and 10. Hence the median will be 9 plus 10 all divided by 2. 9 plus 10 equals 19. 19 divided by 2 will give 9.5 as the median. Now let's look at the B part of question 13. That is, what is the range of this data set? The range of a set of data is the highest value of the set minus the lowest value. With the set of data given, the highest value is 20, and the lowest value is 4. Hence, 20 minus 4, and that gives us 16 as the range. Question 14. A recipe calls for 2 thirds cups of sugar to make 12 cookies. How much sugar is needed to make 36 cookies? To pass any standard test, you have to be very familiar with word problems. Considering our question, we are given that 2 thirds cups of sugar make 12 cookies. If 2 third cups of sugar makes 12 cookies, then we can represent the cups of sugar needed to make 36 cookies as x equals 36. After setting up, we will cross multiply. x will multiply 12, and 36 will multiply 2 thirds. 12 by x is 12x. With 36 multiplied by 2 divided by 3, 3 goes into itself once but into 36, 
12 times. This leaves us with 12 times 2, which is 24. Now to find x, divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x, which is 12. 12 will cancel 12 at the left side of the equation. 24 divided by 12 is 2. Therefore, x, which is the cups of sugar needed to make 36 cookies, is 2. Question 15. Find the greatest common factor of 4x squared plus 2x and 8x plus 4. To find the greatest common factor of two polynomials, we need to factor each polynomial and then identify the common factors. For 4x squared plus 2x, we can factor 2 out because 2 can divide both 4 and 2 without a remainder. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. For the x, we factor out the x with the smallest exponent, in this case x exponent 1. What will be left is x for this one. We have a detailed video about factoring and factorization. Please use the link below to check it out for a clearer understanding. We do the same kind of factorization for the 8x plus 4. We can factor 4 out because 4 can divide both numbers without a remainder. 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 4 divided by 4 is 1. We cannot factor the x so we leave it here. Finally, we can see that 2x plus 1 is common to both polynomials. That will be the greatest common factor. So the GCF is 2x plus 1. We'll end this video here. Thanks for watching. Please come back and watch all the videos in this series and pass any math test easily. See you in the next video.